here today. And a round of applause for everyone that's here today. It takes a lot of courage to be standing here today. Thank you for being here. Finally, thank you again to the New York Police Department, to the Fire Department. Thank you for being here supporting us. Thank you. So I'm going to say a couple words here and then we'll wrap up. Earlier this year, I had the honor of meeting Judah Samet here in New York City. You may know him as the Jew who had the entire United States government inside the Capitol sing him happy birthday earlier this year uh, during the State of the Union. I know Judah as a double survivor. That's how he introduced himself to me. My name is Judah. I'm a double survivor. Judah, what does that mean? As I quickly learned, Judah was a double survivor because he showed up a couple minutes late to the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He showed up three minutes late to that synagogue. And now he's taken what's happened, the tragedy, and he's been a strong advocate for what's happening. So when I left having that conversation with him, I left with an enormous amount of pride for being a strong and proud Jew. And I hope that many of you here today feel the same after hearing and seeing everyone standing shoulder to shoulder with each other. So I'd like for us to pause to remember the lives of the Jews that we've lost in Pittsburgh, in Poway, in Israel, and throughout the world who were murdered for one reason, they're Jewish. It is for their memory and because it is for their memory that we organized here today, that we're speaking up and that we're fighting back with every fiber of our body to say anti-Semitism is anti-American. Let's have a brief moment of silence for the people that we've lost.